Hey everyone, this is Tiffany Electrify Fari. I am here for a dance connection with John Drake, the one and only John Drake of Harmonix. So, John, we yes. meet again. There's no grotto this time. No, no Pax grotto. grotto. No weird leaves around my no face. No weird leaves around your face. No nerds. I don't see any nerds hanging around no, any. and a whole well, new website to talk to. There might be a lot of nerds around, but. <laughs> They're all wonderful. Yes. And, yes, I'm actually here this time for Dance Connection as opposed to Rock Band-Aid, which is the other site that Sister I also site. write for. All right, so we're really proud to be a launch title and also be hands down the best dance game on Connect. Hands down. Boom. I said it. Um, one of the great things about the game, mm -hmm. just like Rock Band, sure. is DLC. Mm -hmm. um, you guys seemed like you were on a monthly DLC release schedule for a while. Some other things kind of happened. Yes. Um, are you guys back to a monthly release schedule? Yeah, it's less regular than Rock Band is. So we're uh, monthly is what you can generally expect. We don't want to say like it's going to be exactly four weeks every time. It might be three weeks sometimes. It might be five weeks sometimes. But okay. uh, I, I think that the team is pretty firmly committed to doing about one pack a month on average. Okay, because um, I actually noticed on the Dance Central game site on Microsoft, mm -hmm. it's actually saying monthly for release. I am release. sure that whoever wrote that copy would love to tell our production team that they're on a month this game. <laughs> I mean, we have a, a bunch of great authors. We've actually been scaling up that team. You may know that Allie Thresher, HMX Thrasher, has sort of jumped from the community team into the authoring team. Right. So we can do more DLC. They have a couple people down there working now, and they're busting great content out. We hope you guys like it. And if you like it, buy it. If you want certain kinds of music, buy that kind of music, because you know, we actually do look a lot at what sells and, and try to get more of that stuff for you guys. How long does it take... Um, for the development process for Dance Central DLC versus Rock Band? So both have the really fun first step of music licensing, which makes everything super challenging, because uh, it means there's a lot of parties involved, it's a lot of explaining the game to people who probably haven't seen the game before at labels and publishers. Uh, and we've been working really hard to make sure that people have seen Dance Central. I think that the sales and the people who are supported Dance Central put YouTube videos up and are sort of showing us you know, how much they love the game. It's really helping us in our quest to get the best music into DC. Um, and I would say... The, the biggest thing that people don't realize is that, unlike Rock Band, where we have really skilled, talented people who have experience authoring, uh, writing out musical instrument parts, uh, they can do that all in sort of MIDI data, like this sort of really right. easy to, to parse, very straightforward. Uh, it, even the more complicated stuff like pro-authoring is done in MIDI, so we have a pretty universal language that anyone can dive in and work on at, in the audio team. Uh, Dance Central is a little different. It's a very specialized engine. It's a very specialized set of detection. And when we do original choreography for that, there's only so many people who can do things like motion capture and the animation blending and making everything look polished and, and up to a harmonic standard so you guys get finally really great quality stuff. I'd say it's uh, a, about the same size, if not a smaller team, working on Dance Central DLC as Rock Band DLC. Okay. Uh, and they are uh, all busting super hard on that content. So the reason that we do four songs a month instead of, or you know, three to five songs a month instead of four songs a week or six songs a week is because it's just, uh, it's more specialized work, I would say, over, okay. overall. Do you have an average, like, amount of time, like, man hours that it might take for a song in Dance Central versus, you know, one song for Rock Band? It's hard to say. I mean, the Rock Band stuff we've said without pro is about, you know, 30 to 40 man hours of work. Uh, Dance Central, I wouldn't want to speculate because I think we're still refining the tools, like, you know, we, we cranked out that game uh, like under the wire. I mean, it was, it was, it was a really polished game. I think it's, it looks really good. But uh, the, the last couple weeks there were, were hard fought to make sure the authoring and tuning were up to snuff. And I think people have really appreciated that specificity. Uh, but because of that, we're still, even now, building our tools and building our pipeline and making it possible to be better and better so we can make more content faster and smarter. Uh, but there's still lead time. I mean, it's still like a you know, 8 to 12 week process to get music and do the original choreography, make sure that there's a review of that choreography, make sure everything works together, uh, and then actually do that motion capture and integrate it in the game. Now, so. when you say choreography, do you mm -hmm. do just one set of choreography and then kind of dumb it down for each of the Yeah, it's a subset of moves. Like in Rock Band, it's a okay. subset of moves. So usually it's the expert, is, or sorry, hard. I've got to train myself out of saying that, expert. Uh, I said it earlier, too, yeah. actually. <laughs> He's doing it. But so hard is, uh, hard is sort of our full routine, and then uh, medium and easier, usually a subset of those routines, though the way that they are taught in break it down mode and the way that they are uh, paced out how many times you do them is something that our choreographers and our choreography authors have to sort of sit together and figure out like you know when should we teach you this set of moves like how long is this string before right. you break it down uh, so there's a lot more thought that goes into it than uh, in that respect in terms of the training and the the additional modes and in rock band where it's basically we make a song file and our game uses that song file in multiple locations here we actually have to design the multiple locations individually for each game okay. file so it sounds like there's a lot of manual work that goes into yes, um, setting up the the flash cards mm -hmm. the break it down mode yeah. 
You gotta name all the moves. You gotta make sure it looks good. And our team is doing an amazing job of making sure that because you're so connected to the avatar on screen, that that looks really polished all the time. So it doesn't, you know, if we had janky frame rate issues with our animation, it just wouldn't be a fun experience. Because unlike, right. and not unlike Rock Band, exactly like Rock Band, where you're focused on one small part of the screen. Usually, if you're trying to learn a song, you're looking at that character really narrowly, and if it doesn't look good, it's gonna make it harder for you to play the game. Okay. Now, have you helped name any moves? I have not helped name very many moves. I have tested many moves, uh, namely that my uh, roommate, Matt Bach, who's, I think, at Matt Bach on Twitter and uh, is Matt Bach on the Dance Central forums, uh, is one of the designers of the game, and he came up with, like, he was working on coming up with names for lots of moves and seeing, is this move an easy move or not? And I don't know why I'm the test subject for that sometimes, <laughs> but he would come home and be like, can you do this move? And he would, like, show me the move, and then I would try to do it, and, like, hit a trash can with my foot and right. like, be on the ground crying and he'd be like, oh, so it's not that easy. Okay, I'm going to take that feedback into account. I'm like, <laughs> I have a broken foot. Please take me to the hospital. Um, but so, well, I've not named that many. I know there's some named after people in the game, which I always find sort of amazing. Like, the Carters, I, th I believe, named after John Carter, one of our producers and member okay. of the main drag, the band that I'm in with Matt. Right. Uh, there's some other stuff that's a little more subtly worked in there about some of the cooler people at Harmonics. So I just got a couple more questions for you. Um, we'll wrap things up. Take Any... your time. I got, I'm, the longer I'm here, the less I'm sweating. <laughs> you are dancing. off your feet and <laughs> chilling. It's a long show. It's Sunday. <laughs> yes. Tiffany does these interviews at the end of Sunday, so I'm tired. And I yes, say, I'm this seemed like the perfect time for it. <laughs> um, any artist coming as DLC that you care to okay. announce? Uh, maybe. Sorry, people came in the room, and I, I'm worrying that we're in someone's meeting room right now. But it looks like they're also just sitting down. So I'm going to tell you, like, on the DL, okay. what's going on. Yeah, don't so say this very loud. we have a couple songs coming on Tuesday, which hopefully some of you will see this before then, but if not, go check it out right now. Uh, Paula Abdul, dance queen, amazing talent. Uh, Straight Up is coming from Paula Abdul. Straight Up, not tell me. Do you really want to love me forever? Yes, you do. Uh, Holla Back Row from Gwen Stefani. An awesome. amazing track. A lot of good stomping and clapping in that song. It's almost like a step routine uh, in some parts. And then... Uh, Weapon of Choice by Fatboy Slim, the, the famed Christopher Walken video. Uh, there is no flying against the wall in the choreography uh, this time around. I think we're waiting for that motion technology to actually allow you to <laughs> fly from balcony to balcony. Coming then, soon, Dance yes, Central 2. With full harness and rigging. Um, <laughs> and then Turning Me On by Carrie Hilson, which is an awesome sort of like pop R&B banging track. Okay. So four new tracks coming out March 15th. Uh, and we're actually going to be launching a new in-game store that's going to actually be in a patch on the 14th. So if you update your console now, if you log into Xbox Live, you're going to get a whole new way of browsing the content we've released so far. And we're going to bring more content out, so hopefully it'll help you keep things organized in your okay. library. So can you just mention a little bit more about the store and what... Yeah. Is there different ways to sort in there? Yes. Or is so it... there's different ways to sort. We use your left hand to sort, which I, which I think is nice. Uh, and then it just also allows you to sort of scan through in the style of Rock Band, which I know a lot of people really like the user interface of how we do our radio menus. Right. Uh, and... While I actually think that the hover and, and, uh, and buy use in the marketplace is great for Xbox Live content, for like add-on content for games like Avatar items or a small, like if you have DLC packs for a game that has one or two DLC packs, it's a great interface. I think what we realized very quickly is like when we put in 40 or 50 things to buy into that interface, it became sort of overwhelming to find the content you wanted. So it's just a little bit easier way to browse, and we're actually going to let you browse both Avatar items for your... Your character, for your actual avatar, your Xbox avatar oh, for wow, the game. So those are shipped already, cool. but we're going to let you sort through them by character name and be able to play that, and also the tracks that we put out every week. Okay. And that'll kick you out to the marketplace and let you just purchase the thing versus browsing via the marketplace, which I think is really great for a lot of games and for our games just with the volume of content we have. Not right. I, I know that was one of the features a lot of people had asked for, so I'm glad to see that you guys are putting that in we there. We did it. Yes. It just took like a month and a half. Sorry. Very cool. Done. And there's a lot of little bug fixes in that patch, too, but they're mostly sort of like on the extreme fringe of like, if you do break it down in this one difficulty, you won't be able to get perfect on this one right. move, so we fixed that. Well, we'll fix the fill up, fill up my cup move, because I swear I cannot do that one I to save that, my life. I think that might be user error. So <laughs> I don't want to call you out or anything, but maybe it's your fault. Well, thank you, John, very much for your time. We'll go ahead and uh, conclude the interview there after yeah, you make sure. fun of me. So. Holler at us on Twitter, dance underscore central. We'd like to talk to you guys. All right, well, thanks again for your time, and we will see you again soon. Bye.